Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with you another video and today we're going to be looking at the Wheel of Weapons. Uh, the Wheel Challenge is going to be real. We're going to be looking at the Wheel of Death uh, by alt tab in here. We're going to have the Wheel of Death up. We're going to have seven different weapons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different weapons. Uh, on the wheel and we're going to actually try to get a kill with each uh, spin we're going to try to get a kill with that weapon um, before we die uh, we're going to try to get a kill and like I said we're going to go until we fail um, we're going to start out with a spin real quick um, and these are all weapons I'm decent with as we start out with the war bow is uh, what we ended up getting so now I just get to create a war bow build and run out into the open world or I can go into hell gates if I haven't found any good uh, fights I can go into a 1v2 hell gates and try to get a decent kill um, the whole point of the wheel of death and the kill challenge or the weapon kill challenge is going to be trying to get a kill before I die as long as I get a kill before I die I win the challenge and I move on to round number two where I spin again and continue my rounds. Uh, we're going to go until we lose. Um, we'll try to risk it more and more as we go higher up. We'll try to get into those 1v3s. 1v3. um, but we'll see if we even get to that point as, you know, I haven't played with the Warbow in a decent while. Um, but we'll try to get a build out here for you guys. All right, guys. So we are going to be heading out now. Uh, this is the build I'm going to be running for this round one. I will be using about tier 6 every time. 6-1 uh, here was actually cheaper than 6, so obviously I bought the 6-1 Mage Cow. But for all of these videos, I'm going to be sticking to about tier 6 uh, gear when I do the random death spin. Let me know if you guys think I should be doing it a little bit lower. Uh, I do tier 6 because, honestly, um, with the 1v2s being as a vi very viable option, since I'll probably be doing some things in the Black Zone and uh, Hellgates, I'm kind of going to need a little bit of a you know buffer as I'm not really going a 1v2 build I am going poison pots to make sure I get that kill before I die uh, so I'm not really going the healing pot that I would usually run if I was going black zone looking for 1v3s I'm just going for that initial kill um, and we'll have the undead cave just to see if we can get something out of there uh, just see if we can run away from them or make you know make a play on them but this is pretty much the build we're gonna be using and the first kill we're going to be trying to get is going to be in the black zone uh we will run out here real quick as i'm running a tier four horse um you know no, no big problems there i could run a tier three or i could you know run a you know anything crazy so this is going to be fine we're going to run to actually the elmwood area as there's always gankers in elmwood so i could always try for a kill there if not i have a lot of territories there to get an escape to a territory after a kill or before a kill if it's not going well uh, for the most part, I won't really back down um, unless, you know, there's just outnumbered insanely hard and, you know, I know the outcome already before I fight. So let's get started real quick. So obviously the first time we're going to be running through Elmwood, I'm like, uh, let's try some Black Zone. Uh, I am in Carleon Realm Gate, so it's going to be a little packed, you know, maybe some players, you know, ganking as a team or a squad and not being able to do much. Uh, first thing you notice is we get attacked by two gankers. I'm like, oh, this is, you know, possible. Um, and then only to find out later there's 10 of them and they're all on me. So that was a very quick loss. Um, we re-gear here quickly uh, and figure out that we are going to go for another round as uh, we're going to try some hostile area on our first wheel uh, challenge here. Um, I won't really consider that a start as, you know, it was 10 players. I just got out there. It was just about to try starting. So, unfortunately, you just lost gear, and I'll have to re-gear re real quick and run back to Wire Force. And we're going to try to go hostile in Wire Force, as that's going to be plenty of fights. Um, and a bunch of, you know, two to three players usually come after you in Wire Force, maybe a little bit more. But, um, you know, for the most part, you'll find fights pretty quickly. So, first thing we're going to be doing is looking through uh, these woods for, you know, anybody to attack. Um, I usually, in this series, I won't be going for gathers. I'll be going for people trying to PK or, uh, you know, kill other players or, you know, kill gatherers or basically anyone looking to fight is what I'm looking for. So right here, I'm running straight past two guys trying to hostile up. And I'm like, oh, what a perfect fight. You know, they're looking for a fight. Uh, so I do inspect them real quick and see, oh, okay, he's running like 4.2 claws. Um, I don't have a cleanse, so this could be rough. Um, but we'll go for it because why not? So I get off my horse and we're going to look for a fight here. And at this point in time, I haven't actually siphoned energy or 
uh, use my omelet. So I just now use my siphon energy and it makes me actually miss my route because of how delayed I was on the siphon energy clicking down uh, instead of using a key letter. And right here we're getting a lot of damage done to us, um, but we are also damaging the guy in the front pretty well. Since we have an undead cape, we're actually going to get out of this situation pretty well. Um, and you're going to see that bear attacking him. So we actually ran him into a bear with a lot of damage over time with the mage cow and the poison arrow and the poison pot. And we actually do end up killing him. Uh, this is now going to be round two. It's going to be the carrion collar. Uh, we did end up getting the carrion collar as the second round as uh, we rolled for the carrion collar. So what we're going to be seeing here is a jump onto this man right here. Um, and what we're going to have a problem with here is these guys are going to be scared to fight. They're going to just kind of constantly run around in circles. Because it is a 1v2, I do try to save my poison pot for when they're off the horse so I don't actually lose any of that damage. Uh, because I thought they were going to fight, they're doing a lot of circles. Uh, you just kind of figure at this point they're going to, you know, jump off their horse in a 1v2 situation. Obviously, that's not the case, so they're just going to run away. Uh, what you're going to realize, though, is uh, I didn't show the actual spin for the... Um, you know, for the carrying collar, and that is because I did notice in the beginning of this video, I did show you guys the spinner. It actually doesn't spin in the video, and I'm not sure why, so we're just going to figure that out for the next video. As this video, we're going to say we did get the carrying collar in the spin. So, uh, this is the build I am running. I'm running a Merc jacket, and uh, for that, you know, for that lifesteal sort of deal. Um, but, and I'm running a retaliate for, you know, big groups. If there's three or four guys that come on me at a time, if you use my abilities right, I should be able to burst them with the bleed stacks as well. So right here we got two guys. Uh, they are grouped up together even though one shows he's not hostile. I get slow. This is exactly what I want right here. Um, so I see that he's running 6-1 gear. So it could be, you know, quite a fight if they're both running 6-1 gear. I get stunned and a lot of damage knocked down. So my Keeper Cape activates instantly. I throw my Mercenary Jacket at him. So I'm healing all the way back up. I miss my Morgana Raven, I believe. And I'm missing a lot of abilities here. So this is just a mechanical error uh, so far. I did use my Hellion Shoes to get back onto the man. I uh, get him pretty weak, but do not, you know, get the kill in a 2v3 situation. So I did mess that up quite a bit. If you guys do like this episode and you want to learn a little bit more about, you know, PvP builds and what PvP build, uh, what gear does what, and kind of learn about, you know, 1v2 situations, 1v3 situations, let me know in the comments below, and I'll continue to run this series. Uh, I do like this series. Uh, this was a little bit shorter than I would like. Obviously, I ran into some problems uh, getting good fights, and that is obviously because I am in Carleon, maybe one of the biggest. Uh, it is the biggest uh, city in the game, so uh, you'll have these problems in games like this or cities like this. But uh, you know, I was trying to kind of give you an example of what series I kind of look forward to doing. So let me know if you guys do like this kind of uh, idea in the comments below. And there'll be more series and videos coming out. So thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time.